Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here, in this session, I'll be going to discuss about state space analysis example seven by using cascade decomposition techniques. Lecture series on state space analysis. This is lecture number 18. So our topics, state space analysis, example seven, cascade by using cascade decomposition technique. What is the problem? Obtain the state variable and state diagram and draw signal flow graph by cascade decomposition method. This is our problem. Ys by Us equals to one by S cube plus nine S square plus 26 S plus 24, where Ys equals to output and U of S equals to input. And calculate the state equations, state matrix, state diagram, signal flow graph, and stability of the system. The solution, step one. The given transfer function can be written as Ys by Us equals to this, one by S cube plus nine S square plus 26 S plus 24. And put F of S, function F of S, function of F S equals to S cube plus nine S square plus 26 S plus 24. This is the function F of S. And put S is equal to minus two, then this value equals to zero, or f of s equals to zero. So s, s equals to minus two, one of the roots, then s plus two, s plus two, s plus two, and at last, the factors s plus two, s plus four, and s plus three. So our transfer function, ys by us equals to, just put here denominator side, s plus two, s plus four and s plus three. Put denominator side, s plus two, s plus four and s plus three. And then write ys by us equals to ys by z1s, z1s by z2s and z2s by u of s. So what is the factor? ys by us equals to ys by z1s and z1s by z2s and Z2S by U of S. Cancel out Z1S, Z1S, and Z2S, Z2S, then left-hand side Ys by Us equals to also Ys by Us. Just technique for cascade decomposition. Ys by Z1S into Z1S by Z2S into Z2S by U of S. Then case number one. Step two, comparing with the above equation, we get Ys by Z1s equals to one by S plus two. So this is Ys by Z1s. This function equals to one by S plus two. Then cross multiply Ys by a, Ys into S plus Ys into two equals to Z1s equals to Z1s. So cross multiply S into Ys plus two into Ys equals to Z1 into S. Taking inverse Laplace transform of the equation two, taking inverse Laplace transform of the equation two, and we get this is dyt by dt, and this is two into y of t, this is equals to z1t. So z1t equals to input of the system, and yt equals to output of the system, and dyt dt equals to velocity of the system. So this is the position of the system actually, and when the output changes, with respect to time, dyt dt, this is velocity. So this is the variable. The, so output always variable. This is the position, this is the velocity. So put y of t equals to state variable x1 and dyt by dt equals to calculate. So taking the state variable. Step number three, put y of t equals to x1. Put y of t equals to x1 and differentiate both sides and we get y dot t equals to x1 dot. So put here x1, y of t equals to x1 and dy t dt equals to x1 and get, we get this is equivalent to x1 and plus two, y of t equals to x1 and this is z1 t. Then 
then x1 dot equals to what? x1 dot equals to minus 2 into x1 plus z1 t. And comparing with the above equation, this is the above equation, z1 is by z2 is equals to 1 by s plus 4. So second term z1 is by z2 s. This is the second term z1 is by z2 s equals to second factor 1 by s plus 4. Again cross multiply and taking inverse Laplace transform. So this is s into z1 s plus 4 into z1 s equals to z2 s taking inverse Laplace transform of the equation 5 and we get this is equivalent to dz1 t dt plus 4 into z1 t equals to z2 t z2 t so again z2 t equals equivalent to equals to output of the in, uh, input of the system z1 t output of the system and rate of change of z1 t velocity output of the systems so this is the variable this is position and this is the velocity. So again, Z1 T put Z1 T equals to another state variable X2. So this is equivalent to X2 or this state variable equals to X of 2. Differentiate both sides and we get Z1 dot T equals to X2 dot. So put here X2 dot. So X2 dot plus 4 into X2 equals to z to t. So x2 dot equals to what? x2 dot equals to minus 4x2 plus z to t. This is equation number 7. Then step number 5. This is the last term z to s by u of s. Last factor z to s by u of s equals to what? 1 by s plus 3. 1 by s plus 3. Then we get z to s by u of s equals to 1 by s plus 3. Again, multiply s into z to s plus 3 into z to s equals to u of s. Taking inverse Laplace transform and we get this is the dz to t plus 3 into z to t equals to u of t. u of t equals to reference input and z to equals to system output and this is changeable because this is position of the output and this is velocity of the output. So z to t equals to variable z to t equals to put the variable x3. So put here x3 and taking both side differentiation and then we get z2 dot t equals to x3 dot. This is the x3 dot plus 3 into x3 equals to u of t. So x3 dot equals to what? x3 dot equals to minus t into x3 plus u of t. This is equation number T. So x3 dot equals to minus 3x3 plus u of t. Now, now substituting z1 t equals to x2 and we get x1 dot equals to minus 2x1 plus x2 and x2 dot equals to minus 4x2 plus x3 because z2 t equals to x3. Then the state space equation can be represented as follows. This is a very important ultimate state space equation x1 dot equals to minus 2x1 plus x2 and x3 coefficient 0 so 0 into x3 plus input coefficients also 0 so u0 into ut and x2 dot equals to 0 into x1 plus minus 4 into x2 plus 1 into x3 plus 0 into ut and x3 dot equals to 0 into x1 plus 0 into x2 minus 3 into x3 plus u of t these are all state equation. Then calculate state matrix. What is the state matrix? Left hand side x1 dot x2 dot x3 and minus 2, 1, 0 right hand side, 0 minus 4, 1, 0, 0, minus 3. This is the matrix A. So next step, state space matrix can be written as x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot. This is the left hand side and minus 2, 1, 0, just coefficient and 0 minus 4, 1, 0, 0, minus 3, and x1, x2, x3, 0, 0, 1, u of t. This is equivalent to state equations x dot equals to x plus bu. This is state's equation because left-hand side only differentiation terms are right-hand side free of differentiation terms. So put x dot equals to x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot 
a equals to minus to one zero zero minus four one zero zero minus three x equals to x one x plus three b equals to zero zero one u equals to u of t and here the output equation is y t equals to x one only x one so x two coefficient zero also x three coefficient zero that's why x two equals y t equals to one into x one plus zero into x two plus zero into x three a is the constant system matrix of order n cross n and b is the input coupling matrix of order n cross r u is a n r cross 1 input matrix x dot equals to x plus b u is called the state equations again y equals to cx plus d u this is the output equation and where y is the m cross 1 output vector and c is the m cross n system matrix and d is the M cross R transmission matrix y equals to c and c x plus d u is called the output equation here m equals to one here the output equation is y t equals to x one that's why y t equals to only x one one into x one plus zero into x two zero into x three that means y t equals to just only x one now comparing with equation this and this and we get a equals to minus to one zero zero minus four one already discussed zero zero minus a b equals to zero zero one and c equals to one zero zero uh, d equals to null matrix this is very important for determination of the stability or controllability test for observability test for transfer function calculation uh, and y t equals to c of x and d equals to zero the state diagram From equation twelve, fourteen, and fifteen, x one equals to x one dot equals to this, x two dot equals to this equation, x three dot equals to this equation already proved. And what is the state diagram? This is the state diagram. This is the cascade state diagram. State diagram of linear system for cascade decomposition. So, what is the input? This is the input u of t. And what is the x three dot? Again. For third order system, three summing point, summing point one, summing point two, summing point three, or computer three, and three integration, integration one, integration two, integration three. So, start first, last equation. This is x three dot. X three dot equals to what? Minus x three plus u of t. So this is only plus of u of t. This is plus of u t. And x three dot integrate, then x two dot. X two dot equivalent to x three. So it's x three into minus three. So this is the minus three into x three plus u of t. So x three dot equals to minus three into x three plus u of t. And then x two dot integrate x one dot x one dot equals to x two. And what is the x two dot? X two dot equals to minus four into x two. So this is minus four. This is x two. So four in minus four into x two, and this is x three. And x one dot integrate. Then x one x one equals to y of t. So this is the final output. And what is the x one dot? X one dot to minus two into x one. This is minus two. This is x one. So minus two into x one plus x of two. This is x one dot x one dot equals to minus two into x one plus x two. This is the block diagram or state diagram for cascade decomposition. Then block diagram to signal flow graph. This is the signal flow graph. Just this is u of t input, and this is final output y of t equals to x one. So this is one node. This is second node. This is third node. So this is the first node. Put here node number one, and this is node number node number node number two. This is node number three. This is node number four. This is five node number. This is six number node number. So two to one minus three feedback. Two to one minus three feedback, and four to three. This is the four to three minus four feedback, and this is six to five. This is minus two feedback. So this is the forward path, and this one loop. This is the second loop. This is the third loop. This is the signal flow graph for cascade decomposition. This is the cascade decomposition block diagram, signal flow graph. Thank you.